Hey guys, welcome to block 29 of the NBA season. Kings versus Blazers tonight. It's gonna be a great one. Dame Dalla Lillard is in the house. I can't wait to watch him play. And De'Aaron Fox is making a start tonight against Dame Dalla. Coley Stein from Frank Felt in some good opportunities. How about this hustle play? And Buddy he'll no. Look at Willie. Well, absolutely was. And boy, just getting to the spot where he could deliver. Coley Stein! Maybe he could share the game. Oh! The lob and the flush. No good. Coley Stein. Hopefully the Kings can get this Willie Coley Stein for the remainder of the season. Look at Buddy playing defense. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's a foul, dude. Buddy, buddy, that's twisted his ankle. Oh, no, look. Oh, no. On the floor, the charge of the Kings and the 10, Frank Mason. He can't walk on it. He can't walk. Buddy Hill made a very good defensive play. He stole the ball, and in transition, he bumped into CJ McCollum, and he injured his right ankle. So, as of right now, they're saying it's a right ankle sprain. Unfortunate, man. Buddy was balling tonight. Oh, wow. Really blocked him. Okay. All right, guys, so the Kings had a very good defensive effort tonight overall as a team. That second unit was key. Bogdan Bogdanovich, it was very active on defense, along with Costa Kufus and Willie Colley Stein. Uh, props to Willie, he had a great game today. Hopefully, he's consistent tomorrow night and he continues to play. He talked about being free and, and being liberated and, and him uh, liking playing with Costa, and to me, that was big. Roll it. Right there. Uh, me and, you know, me and Costa played really well together. Uh, I've been waiting for that for that lineup for you know since we started. So, um, you know, I'm happy that that we was able to to make it look good today. Another positive that I took out of tonight was when I interviewed Bogdan Bogdanovich. He said, when you come out of the second unit, you know that the other team is in the penalty. So that just shows how smart of a basketball player he is. Just his high basketball IQ. Let's get a little shot of it, guys. Do you feel more comfortable starting or coming off the bench? Is it liberating coming off the bench for you, or does it matter? 
doesn't matter, but uh, there is one thing when you start from a bench. Uh, most of the time, the opponents are already in a bonus, so you can go inside with easy two free throws if you draw the foul. So that's that's some kind of an advantage. So just to wrap it up, I thought it was a very positive night overall. Anytime the Kings get a victory, it's always a good thing. I hope that they continue to play hard and that Dave Yeager uh, stays consistent with these lineups. Superstitious, bring the pig every game. <laughs> He's good luck. Bring him every game now. All right, guys. So we just wrapped up all the post-game interviews. They're all on our YouTube channel. You guys can go ahead and watch them. Uh, my thoughts on tonight. Willie played outstanding. This is the Willie. Everybody wants to see. He needs to be around guys like Costa Kufis. Someone who can compliment him and let Willie be the skilled big that he wants to be. And Justin Jackson, some players didn't even play today. Who got minutes? Frank Mason got minutes. Why? Mostly because Blazers were running a uh, three-guard offense. Yeah, but so. it was intended for, for a coach to play Masons today and shorten yeah. up his, his rotations. I know that's one of the big big criticisms of yeah. Jaeger that he's inconsistent with guys. He'll play Buddy. Buddy will score 10 points in the first quarter. He won't see action until the last minute of the second quarter. Um, Malley, the same way he'll, he'll produce. There are other players that have produced and gone to the bench and not gone back in. So he's been super inconsistent. That's been one of his biggest criticisms today. He's showing that up. He clarified that, and he, and, yeah. he, and he fixed it, right? But going back to your point on, on Willie Cauley-Stein, if you're a professional basketball player and you're not going to give it your all because you don't have the guy you want in there with you, to me, that doesn't make any sense. To me, it's that's kind of like throwing a tantrum and saying, well, you better put this guy and this guy right next to me so I can play better. No. You're supposed to be a good basketball player because everyone, theoretically, is good in the NBA. So, to me, you better give it your all every single time. It doesn't matter who's on the floor with you. And that's been one of his biggest criticisms. He, he, he doesn't always lay it on the floor for his guys. And tonight he did. Hopefully, he's consistent enough and he, yeah. and he continues this. But to me... When he said those quotes, I wasn't too happy about that because he, he pretty much threw he, he threw other teammates under the bus, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? He has been playing with Zach Rondo. Yeah, so I'm agreeing with Willie when he said, when he indirectly threw Zach under the bus by saying uh, me and, and Coast are really good defensively. I get all that. I agree with that. Yeah. But there's no excuse for him not to play hard and make other guys better. Like, he, he says he's Porzingis, right? Like, he's just as good as Porzingis. If you're that good... You should be able to make everybody better around yeah. you, no matter who plays with you. So he lost all credibility at that point. But again, give him props, man. He played excellent tonight. I just hope he plays like that every single night, man. Right? Yep. Solid point. So that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Uh, make sure to watch the previous vlogs. They're all right here. Um, and yeah, thank you guys for your support. We gave out Hoopcats uh, cards today. <laughs> Uh, we gave out tickets today, sponsored by Valley Tire Center. Again, if you guys are looking for, uh, to, to join the Cowbell Kingdom family at local businesses, hit us up. Uh, we'll, we'll be vlogging every single home game and hopefully... Uh, Talking about the, the joining the Cowbell family, we have our own Cowbell shirts. That's right. Lonzo Ball and Boom, versus right the Aaron Fox. <laughs> Right here, you guys can definitely get your own uh, shirt and wrap them. The Lakers do come uh, this Wednesday. so Yeah, they do. Yeah, so you guys have to wrap them and have to find us. We have to find you, and we got to take a picture. Every time, guys. Um, For all the people that, that wear the Fox is greater than ball shirts, uh, the CK exclusive shirts, come to Section 105. Uh, look for us. We want to take a picture with you guys. We saw a t uh, an elder couple today wear the sweaters, a purple one, and I think it was a gray one. Yeah. That was a great, great uh, sighting to see, guys. I was super excited because a lot of people have bought them, but they really haven't, like, you know, told us about it. So I I'm super excited. I, I wish I was there. I would have took a picture. No, I, I definitely took a but picture. I, I yell. I said, hey, nice sweater. She, the lady didn't turn around. <laughs> and I said, hey, nice sweater. And she turned around. She was like... <laughs> and the guy was like, I was like, I was kind of like shy because I already yeah. yelled twice and yeah. I felt kind of dumb. But <laughs> anyways, uh, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. On behalf of the entire team, CK Block 29. Stay tuned for CK Block 20, 29. CK Block 30. Let's go.
So perfect, like rhyming. So perfect all the time, yeah. That's why I said I'm done trying. 